hours later, I was brought home in blood sodden clothes. The bullet that was meant for him, I stood in its way. Screaming valley, bloody streams, shivering ground atmosphere, full of melancholy, and me, me with my torn clothes. I am victim, yes, I am victim, who was murdered on the street. Prevailing atrocities, numb community, stamp actions, and signed daughter. Indeed, Mr. President, I am Indian occupied Kashmir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me take you to a valley where the flowers are flourishing and blossoming by sucking the blood of innocence, and where the appetizing ground is getting the chops, and where the metals are used as brutal weapons. Mr. President, the cell pen we buy with our blood. The cell paper, so much paper, we write with our blood. They put the kettle on the boil. It whistles. The seduction of the tea, there is no better heaven. My next word will liberate. An orgasmic lull prevails. That next sentence, always in arrival, like that justice thing. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Ishwak is no more. Makbul has gone, Asya and Nilofar being raped, then killed, Afzal hanged and Tufel buried in two graves. The ether seller in the lal joke was disappeared. They found his bones with empty water. The kettle whistles, the tea never comes out. Mr. President, the kettle whistles, the tea never comes out. You say the flowers are blooming on the branches. You say the deprived are receiving the wine. You say the bruised breasts are healing. This blatant lie, this corruption of intellect, I will not accept. I will not accept. <laughs> Mr. President, a knock at the door late at night sends spams of anxiety to households afraid that a family member will be asked by the Indian security forces or militants to step outside for a minute and never return back. Their bombs go off in the crowded markets. Indian security forces claim that they are fighting against the Islamic extremists and militants while the militants claim that they are fighting for the Kashmiri independence and against the murderous Indian army. In reality, in reality, both sides have committed numerous and widespread human rights abuses and violations of international humanitarian law, creating among the civilian society a pervasive climate of distrust, sadness, feeling of anxiety. Oh my land, hanging upside down, putting chili powder into eyes, pouring hot oil over body, hot wax into ears, severe and prolonged beatings and electric shocks to the sensitive parts of the body, salute. Salute the courage of the daughter facing atrocities, genocides, persecutions and executions. Behold my child, behold. Black, gray, red are the only colors left in Kashmir. Forget the orange color of your candy. Forget the orange color. Mr. President, when we whisper about the international world, we see that all sorts of priorities are strictly being. But, but my neighbors have got official rights for raping women, killing innocents, and making them disappear. These all are being supported by CPRF and BSP. And during all this Holocaust, I see UN nowhere. Plus, the International Islamic Organization that it calls itself the defender of rights of human rights of Islamic nation. The fact is that when it comes to my land, when this comes to my nation, I see my ships without destination. I see my ships without destination. <laughs> we shall defend our land, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. 
We shall fight on the fields, we shall fight in the hills, we will never surrender. Like Pedestrius Mansoor, I declare I have no dreads of hangman playing. Why do you fear the prison's walls? These execrity, these knights in jail, I will not accept, I will not condemn, I will never condemn. Thank you.